What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we need to address social security and in particular the $485 per month boost that you could potentially be getting. But where is this boost coming from? Well, that's what I want to explain today because one of the biggest things that we've seen over the past few years is social security recipients continue to feel that they are being left out, that the money's going to uh, countries overseas, the money's going to uh, higher income individuals and families and businesses. But what about those on social security? Well, we're going to discuss that today because what we do know is that President Biden is pushing to get changes to social security. The only problem, and this is something that I brought up in the past, is he's trying to work these into other bills as well. Again, it's a problem because some people are not going to vote for that. This is why Congress is saying if it's going to be for Social Security, it has to be bipartisan and it has to be a Social Security bill, not something that gets lumped in with other things. So today we are going to talk about President Biden's four point plan and how this is potentially going to increase benefits to certain individuals on Social Security. So all I ask is if you enjoy these daily uploads on Social Security, on the US economy, and on what Congress is doing, please do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button, and let's get right down to the video. So let me show you what is in President Biden's four point plan. You can see it right here. Now it says what's Biden's four point plan, how the proposal on Social Security changes impacts you. Now, will it impact you? The answer is yes. Now. I want to show you this and I'm not going to read the entire article. I just want to show you the main points. Okay. The, the Biden's four point plan would include the following first tax earned income above $400,000 per year, leaving wages between 160,200 and $400,000 untaxed for social security. Currently any wages above $160,200 are not taxed. This is one of the things that many Democrats have been fighting for to get any income over $160,200 tax for Social Security. But President Biden made a promise when he became president, actually before he became president, that if he was elected, he would not charge a penny more in taxes to anybody that made less than $400,000 per year. So he's trying to keep up with that promise. But that's the first thing. Okay. He would tax income over $400,000 per year. It creates a little bit of an issue between the $160,200 and the $400,000, but it is something that they could do. The other one, change the calculation to determine annual Social Security cost of living adjustment, or COLA, so they are no longer based on the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. This is the CPI-W. Instead, he prefers the consumer price index for the elderly, which is CPI-E. And if that were to happen, we would see an instant boost to the cost of living adjustment because it goes off of different indexes. But again, that's I don't want to get dive too much into that. I think that is something that they're looking to like looking forward to. But there's so many other things that they're trying to negotiate alongside of it. This could ultimately be, be dropped out. So we'll have to wait and see. Another one, raise the primary insurance amount, the PIA, age that determines how much money you'll receive in social security benefits. Again, this is something that they have discovered, uh, discussed in the past. And the reason why is because they are trying to figure out what is the best way moving forward. Social security hasn't been touched in years. So what lawmakers are wanting to do and what experts are recommending is to make changes and do a complete reform to the entire program and make it better for today's economy and today's people, not for people of the 1980s. Okay, so this is where those changes are going to come in. Another one, this is actually a pretty big one, is to raise the special minimum benefit for uh, lifetime lower wage workers to 125% of the federal poverty level for social security beneficiaries. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, first off, I believe the 125% of the federal poverty level 
is like $15,000 or something like that, okay? The reason why that's such a big deal is because by raising it to you know additional 25%, that would provide an actual boost and increase to social security recipients, about $485 per month. Now, the reason why I wanna bring this up is because of this, look, look at this. It says social security 2023. Recent study shows quarter of Americans underestimate their benefits by $5,000 per month. So 25% of Americans, according to this study, are underestimating what their benefits are gonna be and their the benefits come on top of that and they're pleasantly surprised that they're gonna get more money. But I also wanna read you the other side of it, okay? Look at this, look what I've highlighted. It says the average person underestimates their benefit by amount by $1,896. That's an 11.5% miscalculation relative to the average benefit received, but 25% misjudge their benefit by $5,167 or more. That's where they're, they're uh, misjudging on the, the, the lower side, and then they're getting more, and that's great. But it says on the other end of the spectrum, 10% are overestimating the benefit by at least $5,319. That is huge. Now, if you are on, you're misjudging it on the lower side and it comes in higher, that's great. But when 10% are misjudging their benefits and they're thinking they're getting $5,000 extra dollars per year and they get $5,000 less, guess what? They have to come up with the extra $5,000, especially if that is what they needed. And so that creates a major issue. But this is where something it's called a, a their uh, special minimum benefit, okay? That's this right here, I wanna show you this. It says, what is the social security special minimum benefit? The highest special minimum benefit in 2023 is 1,000, um, where'd it go? 1, uh, $1,033.50 per month. That's what it is, okay? And that's important to note. And I say this is important because this is where we could see this increase, right? It says right here, the Social Security Special Minimum Benefit provides a primary insurance amount, PIA, to low earning workers. The lowest minimum PIA in 2023 with at least 11 years of work is $49.40 per month. The full minimum PIA, which requires at least 30 years of work, is $1,033.50 per month. This is where, this article, let me click on it. This is where right here, they're trying to increase this amount. Okay, they would like to increase this where you could potentially receive an additional $485 per month, okay? So that's what's happening right now and that's what's in President Biden's four point plan. Now there's other things also being discussed. One of those things, is raising the full retirement age, not from age to 67 up to age 68 or up to age six or up to age 70. No, they're trying to find some middle ground. And as of right now, Republicans would like to raise the full retirement age to age 69, which is up an additional two years. So that's what we know right now regarding Social Security. That is President Biden's big plan. We will see what happens moving forward, but as always, as we get more information, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All you gotta do is two things. Hit the like button on this video, click that subscribe button, and also click the notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one.